Morning. Today is May 20th, uh, day 22 of the Great Divide ride. Uh, this morning is not too bad. It's a little chilly, but not too bad. Tolerable. Didn't freeze last night like I thought it would, so that was nice. Uh, this afternoon it is supposed to rain and I'm supposed to be climbing up to just over 10,000 feet. A little worried about that so I think I'm going to take a little detour and go down this canyon that's off behind me. I can't really tell. But uh, I don't want to be at 10,000 feet most of the day with rain moving in. Especially with the threat of thunder and lightning so I'm going to head down this canyon get to a state road i think it's within eight miles or so something like that uh if i go the other route the official route uh i wouldn't be on pavement until you know 30 miles or so and a lot of that's above 10,000 feet uh not something i want to risk with the rain moving in so let's be going Doesn't look like much of a road, does it? Uh, I'm gonna give it a shot, but I think as long as I stay in the valley, uh, yeah, right. There's supposedly a campground about four and a half miles this way. Uh, this road is on Google Maps, but it's not on Gaia GPS, so it should be interesting. to film myself going down this but it's just not possible to ride one-handed and film all of this it's a pretty rough road not much of a road left more of a a pathway but, uh, check out the view I got I think as long as I follow this canyon down, follow the water really, uh, I'll be all right. Now I have to somehow get across this. You can see there's some motorcycle tracks over there, but it's just first I'd have to cross the creek here and then somehow get through the bog over there. Uh, This could get interesting. I may try and cross right down here. We'll, we'll go check it out. Well, after some careful consideration right here at the uh, point where I just showed you where my, the motorcycles had crossed, uh, I'm going to go back upstream just 100 yards or so where, the, uh, where these two creeks converge to make this one larger creek. And hopefully I can cross at a safer section up there. If not, uh, I might be taking my shoes off and walking across. Be a little chilly, it's all snow melt. All right, so I'm about 50 yards upstream from where I just showed you. Here's where two of them converge. I'm gonna go up this way just a little bit. Uh, this stream, there's not much water flowing through it, so I think I'm gonna be able to cross up there pretty easily. And then just right back here, there's a few logs crossing this heavier creek. So, uh, let's see if we can uh, stay dry. Now, I've got one foot that I don't mind getting wet, of course, a prosthetic foot. I think I've found a, a short enough section where I can get across here. Let's give it a shot. Ah, made it. Cool. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to cross right here. Uh, I'm gonna have to go upstream a little bit more. All right, I think I've got a plan here. I'm gonna walk across this log while pushing the bike through the creek. But uh, 
And there's another one that I got across over there. I don't think that one would be an issue. I think I can cross right there, center screen. Uh, let's go for it. Ugh. Not gonna work. Uh, not gonna be able to walk across the log with the bike that low. Oh shit. Well, said screw it, got across the first section. Uh, but submerged my left foot, that doesn't matter. Right foot stayed dry. Well, let's get across this section here. I think I can right there. Ah, I wish I could show you this, but left foot, you're gonna go right there in that water. It looks to be about eight, 10 inches deep. Right foot's gonna go on the rock. Hopefully stay dry. Oh well, there we go. Success! Uh, let's get out of here. All right. Back on two wheels, but uh, it's getting kind of windy. There's some weather moving in behind me. Hopefully I can beat it down to the bottom of the canyon and uh, keep from getting rained on. Well, after those two creek crossings, I had an extremely fun downhill. It was a little technical, uh, like baby head sized rocks all the way down, some ruts. I uh, wish I could have shown you some of it, but recording with one hand and riding down that sort of terrain with the other uh, is just asking to get hurt. So uh, maybe in the future I'll get an action cam so I can show you that kind of stuff. It was a blast, it was a good time. But uh, from here, I've got about seven and a half miles to a paved highway where uh, I think I'm going to try and get a hotel room tonight. I want to get cleaned up and uh, be warm for a night. I love this. I love it. I'm gonna do it forever. That's where I'm headed. Beautiful out there, but I've gotta try and beat these rain clouds that are off to the left of me. They're off to the west. They're moving east now. Uh, hopefully I can beat them out there. uphill for about a mile which slowed me down. The rain's, oh, rain's right on my ass now. But hopefully, I've got a pretty good downhill in front of me. Still trying to outrun the rain. Right behind me. So I just barely made it to Abiquiu before the weather started rolling in. Uh, yeah. Well, of course, now it's not windy coming and going, but made it to a hotel here in Abiquiu. A little spendy, but it's, it was the only thing available for the night. Uh, pretty nice. Today's ride, I want to say, I forgot to track it, but I want to say it was about 28 miles. Uh, some good downhills, but also with that, some good uphills. Some horses out back. Pretty cool. 
But uh, if you've made it this far into my videos, please hit that subscribe button. Check out the Patreon page. There's a lot of cool benefits in there as well as helping some other amputees get the, uh, the prosthetics they need to be active. Until uh, tomorrow, cheers. I need a shower. Later.